Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. Well, we had quite a turbulent day yesterday with the FOMC announcement, all the emotions that were displayed yesterday and the wild speculation that we saw yesterday kind of all spilled out um, in a massive whipsaw that ended up likely leaving a lot of folks disappointed um, here in the market. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. Um, again, a little bit of a weak voice, but I am feeling better today. So thank you, everyone, who's been um, commenting on that. I, I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. If you look right here, we had rallied right into that downtrend here in the chart, and there was tremendous speculation that suddenly the the Fed would reverse um, um, pause or reduce. And um, unfortunately, Jerome Powell came out sounding pretty hawkish um, overall, um, saying um, it's very pr premature to even think about pausing. And um, consequently, we whipsawed here in the Dow, a dramatic whipsaw where we were up at one point nearly 400 points, closing the day down 500 points. Um, in a, well, a 900 point swing of emotion here in the market. And as you can see this morning, we are showing a little bit of bearishness um, in the pre-market here as well with a lot of data coming our way. Now, if we take a look at this, one of the things that I've been talking about is how painful um, this could be if the, um, if the pullback were to start to occur here in the Dow because the Dow being so overextended in the short term um, creates a pretty substantial chance that uh, any pullback would be painful. And I talked about, you know, just pulling back into here, that was a 500 point move. And now we have a pullback into here um, that could certainly be underway. And honestly, that's another 500 points or so down just to reach that level. If we go further than that, if we come down to the stronger level of support um, here in the chart, well, uh, I think you can do the math. It's going to be a pretty painful pullback here in the market if that were to occur. So if those bears continue to engage here, we've got we've got some trouble to the downside. If the bulls were to find some reason to engage here today, then maybe a rally back up into here, which again would be a large point move as all of this emotion continues to spill out in the market. And one of the things I'd like to um, kind of point out is hopefully everyone is beginning to see there's not a whole lot of fruitfulness that comes from trying to predict what this market is going to do, what the FOMC is going to do. As a matter of fact, what you're probably finding is uh, predicting is creating an awful lot of pain um, in your trading. If you take a look right here, we may be giving up this upside trend here today, so watch that close. Now, if we look at the technicals here in the chart, really no harm or no foul here in the Dow, noticing that we did fail our 200-day moving average, Here's the unfortunate thing is it is a long trip down to that major price support level in the chart and the 50 day moving average, which once again could make for uh, some pretty painful pullbacks if, if uh, the bears engage on that. If we um, take a look at our SPY, Unfortunately, our SPY suffered some technical damage yesterday. If we take a look here, we there's that downtrend break. We're still holding above that downtrend break, and that's a great sign 
as long as we don't lose some of these support levels. And unfortunately, by the close yesterday, the bears were strong enough in here, we, we broke down below some support. So our next level of support in here is down in this area of the chart, which is a fairly significant point move and that possibility that we could test and kind of have that double area of support here to see if we can hold at least temporarily in that chart. So watch that closely if those bears really do engage. Now keeping in mind if the bulls um, find reason for inspiration here today then maybe an attack back up in well first attack right back up into here would be um, likely and then we might see pushing on through um, but let's keep in mind if we were to attack um, up in this area and then show failure uh, that doesn't help us out a lot so watch watch that carefully um, pretty rough setup here and technically we failed our 50-day moving average and where we have failed our 50-day moving average and broke down through that support right there that's a, a bit problematic here for us a rally back to that 50 and failure could set us up for some disappointment so watch that close now if we look at our QQQ our, our NASDAQ really suffered the worst of it yesterday and continues to see that pressure this morning um, our QQQ had been struggling anyway and as you can see we failed here at this significant resistance point and technically what we've done is we've created a lower high and now a lower low in the chart which um, puts us back into that possibility of um, NASDAQ downtrend so watch that closely if this fails um, uh, anywhere under these price support levels. If the bulls were to rally back up and see a failure in here, then we've got um, more downside likely coming in the charts. And one of the things that's adding some pressure to this is the bond yields are rising substantially. Um, they whipsawed hard yesterday and they're still going up this morning. So um, that's adding some additional pressure to the NASDAQ losing this support level in the chart you can see the real possibility that a test of the um, lows of 2022 um, look pretty likely so watch carefully for there and for that and of course our technical damage here uh, failing lower high lower low underneath the 50-day giving up support um, in the chart um, pretty substantial technical damage here in the QQQ. Now, for a silver lining, um, IWM, IWM still holding on to its technical support here in the chart. But once again, it was just really overextended in the short term. So those point moves are pretty, pretty painful in that pullback. But we have a strong level of price support in here um, on the Q, on IWM. So if that holds in there and we could find that support and bounce off of that, that could be good. Um, let's keep in mind that our downtrend here, overall downtrend, is still in play. And we run that possibility if, if the bears were to engage here and we slip lower then you could really see some pretty substantial declines to the next levels of price support in the chart so be kind of careful here IWM um, if it can hold um, support um, in this area right here will be in pretty good shape if it falls through that we could have some trouble um, on our hands so watch that closely and by the way you might want to keep in mind that so far we're uh, in the pre-market here, we'd be breaking that little upside trend here in that chart. So just watch that close. If we take a look at our VIX, boy, this was interesting yesterday. Our VIX, with all of that emotion spilling out on the market, the VIX was like, eh, don't care. Um, very interesting here. I don't exactly know how to interpret that because clearly there was a lot of price movement and emotion in the market, but no fear no fear showed up here in the vix 
very interesting situation. Um, fear may show up today, however, um, with the selling following through to the downside. So let's watch and see if we don't pop up here a little bit and we'll look for some resistance um, in that chart up in here. And if we pass through there, there's a little resistance right in there that we could test uh, to the upside. So watch that closely in the VIX. Our T2122 um, had been showing us and really indicating that we were very overbought in the short term. That certainly relieved a lot of pressure yesterday. So here again, if we have, remember T2122 doesn't tell us direction. It just tell us, tells us where those pressure points are. And if you take a look here, if the bulls find some kind of, of, of reason for inspiration to the upside, we've opened a pretty substantial upside opportunity. If those bears continue to engage here and find that reason for downside, well, we still have a significant move to the downside possible here in the chart. So um, I can't tell you which way we're going to go. I can just tell you that we have some big point moves um, possible and we should continue to watch for whipsaws and morning gaps um, with the the extension that we have seen here recently in the market now let's take a look at our t2108 our t2108 pulled back yesterday but i want you to notice that no harm here um, we still have 54 percent of our stocks holding above their 40-day uh, moving average. Now, if we draw that trend right here, that trend could actually serve as some support. And you can see there's some, pri some price support in here. So once again, if those bulls find some opportunity here to, um, to remain energized, then we could bounce right off of that um, area right in here in the chart. So still got to give this up to the bulls. Now, if those bears continue to attack and we drop back below there, um, it'll be a failure uh, along that resistance area that would be a problem for us. So just keep a close eye on that. Now, our, our T2107 also pulled back a little bit yesterday, but once again, no harm here. Um, you notice that that downtrend has been defeated here so far we rallied certainly rallied up toward that resistance and this is a little bit of a lower high that might be uh, proved to be a little bit problematic later on um, we've got some price support in here that could hold um, that chart if um, if we can find reason for bullish inspiration if we cannot then I would look for that push back down into maybe some price support levels here in that trend to see if we can find some support. Um, almost 34% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Let's take a look at our um, T2101. And now certainly we had quite a little bit of volume yesterday with all of that wild price action in here. And you can see our momentum we had hooked over yesterday showing that that momentum might be swinging and now that momentum has shifted to the other side here just a little bit so be be kind of careful here today if we take a look at our economic calendar uh, for today our economic calendar uh, is a busy one this morning we have quite a few things to add some volatility and emotion to the market um, as you can see, we've got the Challenger job cut report, international trade in goods, jobless claims, uh, productivity and costs, PMI final composite, factory orders, and ISM index. And then we're going to get that natural gas report. And later on in the day, we've got um, the Fed balance sheet, which um, Jerome Powell said they're going to continue the roll off of the balance sheet at a pretty steep level. So. Keep an eye on that. A um, couple of bond auctions, four week and eight week, and that might be important today just because those bonds are surging back to the upside. And then of course, as we plan uh, for Friday, you wanna remember we've got that employment situation number here Friday morning in a Fed speaker. That's all we need is more Fed talk right now. But keep an eye on that, that employment situation number. Our, our, num our jobs numbers have been coming in hot. And if they continue to stay that way, um, that 
that certainly it's one of those things where good news becomes bad news for uh, the market so just keep a close eye on that and then on the earnings calendar we have a very busy day and there's no way I can cover all of the earnings reports that will be uh, triggering today so make sure you click that link that's just below the title of the video if you want to go back and catch some of those notables for today um, there's going to be probably a lot of emotion spell out um, today on all of these reports as well more than 325 companies listed um, of course not all of those are are truly notable but we'll want to keep an eye on quite a number today um, um, amgen will be reporting today Keep an eye on that. Um, we've got Barrett Gold reporting today. Um, SQ um, is on the list for reporting today. Uh, for all of you crypto fo folks, um, uh, Coin will be reporting. We'll hear from Deal Dash. Um, we're going or Door Dash, not Deal Dash. Um, we've got um, uh, Kellogg's in here. We've got some oil, Conoco Phillips. We've got some retail, um, Domino's, or excuse me, Papa John's, uh, reporting today. We've got PayPal um, reporting in here. Planet Fitness. We've got um, Starbucks um, reporting. Um, TWLO will be reporting today. WWE um, um, also reporting today. So quite a number of reports. So watch those cl closely. We're going to see likely some substantial volatility continuing um, as we roll through these earnings events. Um, here in the market. Let's uh, take some time and take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, if you could please click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and I do truly truly appreciate that and thank you so much I haven't mentioned this for a while but thank you to everyone who continues to use that link uh, below the title of the video supporting um, the channel through the buy me a coffee link I do truly appreciate that you guys are awesome let's um, take a peek at some of these socks and remember guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very very careful careful um, in the volatility that we've seen today. I mentioned that yesterday and actually what I did is I just took profits on trades yesterday, um, took three three profitable trades off and said to, to everyone in right way options, I largely just want to stand aside. Um, I don't want to step in front of this, um, you know, raging freight train barreling down the line. I, I just didn't want to put my account in front of that. So um, today might be um, uh, that kind of volatility as well as we as we really kind of um, assess the damage from yesterday. So be very, very careful here in any trade that you take and never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Now, first off, um, one chart that looked pretty darn good um, um, just a couple of days ago and well, we saw a little bit of pressure um, here in this yesterday um, was Valero Energy. Taking a look at Valero, we had pushed out here toward this upside trend. Um, clearly we have uh, some issues. We saw numbers yesterday from from um, our oil sector that we're running short. You've probably heard all of the all of the um, news reports that we're running into a diesel crisis here um, in the United States, and. Um, and that's really going to put some pressure on the refineries that are running at pretty much maximum capacity. And as you can see, um, Valero Energy here has that opportunity to maybe be a pretty good opportunity 
uh, for a potential long if it can hold this support. So keep a close eye on that. A lot of back and forth, a lot of emotion. Now, one thing I would say is if it loses this support today on the pressure in the market, then that kind of takes that off the list for a bit until it would recover um, that level. So watch that closely. Um, other places um, in the market, you know, we've got like ConocoPhillips reporting today, and we've seen lots of strength in these oil and gas reports. So watch that in there. We're moving up in these trends. Um, that possibility that could push on through, and there's a lot of oil and gas out there showing um, very substantial um, setups for upside trades. Um, so keep a close eye on that. Now, I, I will tell you that I am biased um, a bit on this, and, and although this pulled back yesterday on XLE, I'm still in a, a beautiful position on this trade um, with a covered position here, so I'm, I'm hedged on the position. Um, so actually that pullback helps me out just a little bit here in the chart. Um, little rest, little consolidation in here. If we could find some price support in here, then I would look for that opportunity for the next long to potentially set up um, here in XLE. Unless we really start to see demand being crushed dramatically by these market moves. Um, also, you're going to want to keep an eye on bond prices in this dollar. The dollar um, surging back to the upside today, as you can see, um, looks like we could break that downtrend here to the upside in that chart, and we'll be testing some price resistance levels here. So watch that closely. If the dollar continues to strengthen here, that's going to be um, creating an awful lot of pressure on anything commodities, including oil, um, silver, gold, steel, food, all of those kind of things may see some kind of a negative impact as a result of that. So look for those potential short trades. The other thing um, that's going to be very technically damaged is if those bond yields continue to rise, we're going to have to continue to look at the big techs and, and not just big techs, but um, uh, technical charts um, and the tech sector. Um, uh, being bearish and you can see Google breaking down to new lows. I mean, how, how long has it been since anyone ever thought we would see Google below 100 um, and now substantially below 100? We saw uh, Microsoft selling off yesterday and I know there was a lot of folks, I, I got a lot of nasty grams when I mentioned a few days ago that um, Microsoft, um, a, a challenge up here in resistance would be a setup for a potential short. And they were just, everybody thought, no, that was just, I was out of my mind for thinking that. Well, now we're, we're heading to new lows possibly in Microsoft. So look at some of those big techs. If those yields stay high, that is a lot of pressure on um, um, the, the tech sector. So watch that close and look for some short trades there. I wouldn't want to chase them right now. A bounce back up is what I would look for for those trades. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for putting up with me in this rough voice. Um, I do appreciate it. And I want to wish you all the very, very best today in your trading. Have a productive and profitable day. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Take care.